Поясните, пожалуйста. Please explain the blogger phenomenon. I mean not the ones who write for the sake of selling, but the ones who write following their heart. What caste, what elements does it relate to? Or is it a mission? I personally write about immigration, about relationship with a husband foreigner, about women's fears and secrets. People are grateful. They respond by saying that their blocks and fears have gone away and that they can start breathing free. But there are also those who attack me. You asked an excellent question, colleague Anna, because the phenomenon of blogging has expanded rapidly and has become very popular. Are there reasons for such a manifestation in the external world? Yes, certainly there are, because people intuitively feel where there is a blank space, an open niche. What is an open niche? It's not just a place where you can acquire some additional resources for yourself or take specific stands on some issues, including social ones. These are just, let's say, external phenomena. And it's a good thing if there are some. But it's bad, of course, if they become a goal in of itself and you begin not seeing anything else behind it. But any type of business, any business in general that you're in, will always be very successful if the goal of this business goes above and beyond the material world. That is, if a higher goal exists, then any physical manifestation and any material reflection in this world will manifest itself quite quickly. If there is no such goal, then a material manifestation of this idea is absolutely not guaranteed. Not at all. So always think of something higher. This is the key to social success. But let's get back to the question. Bloggers have appeared and begun filling certain niches. Why did they begin filling them? Not just because they now have an additional tool in the form of the Internet. The Internet is only a tool. We don't live for the tools, but for using these tools to generate something bigger. And then everyone begins to use this tool to the best of their ability. Some really just to earn money and become famous. Some are attracted by higher motives. And these higher motives need to be understood. If your motives are higher than making money, we'll say that you've passed the merchant caste and are already working at the warrior stage. A warrior, in this case, expands himself. When we talk about blogging as a system, and your question also reflects this, it is associated with working with the air element which means working with information, plus the fire element. This is a fiery information channel. It is a need. In this case, it is a great need for this world, since a lot of informational cells were freed up and need to be filled. And above all, preference is given to those with higher goals, as if additional channels and possibilities open up before them, saying, go ahead, and accomplish. Maybe the material effect will not be immediate, but it will definitely be. If not from this source, then from another, sometimes from such an unexpected one that you couldn't even imagine. If one's own internal satisfaction remains in the first place, this would be a bad indication, because the need to satisfy only one's ego brings a person down even lower, that is, from the level of the merchant caste down to the laborers. Because only the laborers aim to satisfy their own nature. The merchants already aim slightly higher since they need money, not for the sake of money, but for something else. But a warrior, in this case, looks at higher ideas. In the case you've described, it is some type of help, and it certainly does carry exactly a warrior spirit. It is a specific help, a protection of your own people, the support of your own people. That is a kind of solidarity which you are sealing with your own words and maybe transforming it a bit. You transform it to fit your own worldview. And it is a very good property and very good quality. And in this case, I would like to advise all my colleagues, bloggers, who express themselves precisely through informational networks to always think of a higher mission. If it becomes your first priority, then everything else will not be far behind. 
The fact that people are grateful to you is good. Just don't let this become a goal in itself. You must see the result, since the density of the air element around you is thickening, almost as if becoming denser. This is the thickening of the informational space, and you, in this informational world, are no longer just an element of air. You become a sort of system-forming element, something like a storm cloud which is able to change the direction of the air, which is able to condense it, which is able to change this space, if we make an analogy to nature. It should also be remembered that the functions of blogging are crucial, especially right now, at this particular point in time. The informational space, as you know, is changing drastically. And what is commonly called artificial intelligence, let's focus on this term without elaborating on it in the magical sense, and for the moment we'll stick to it, is currently in the stage of gathering, training, and filling its informational databases. Since this system must possess an informational amount that is many times greater than that present in a given human society, no information is considered harmful. That is why such opportunities open up in order to fill the informational space with personal thoughts for an unlimited number of users. All this is stored in the bank of basic information, diversifying it. If we teach the neural network only certain kind of information, it will be limited. This is why we need a great variety of information, of a wide range. Media moguls are competing for this space. You are perfectly aware that nowadays censorship became extremely annoying, while it did not exist before. The Internet used to be a free space for free people, but now they control that too. And it's not because there shouldn't be there some particular information that someone dislikes, but because any information there could become system-forming and could slightly change the algorithms of decision-making. And if there is a little bit more information that, let's say, is not in line with the politics and the government or whatever else, then the algorithms will change. Some people strive for this, while others don't want this to happen. It's a battle for algorithms. And so the more honestly, openly, heartily, sincerely, warrior spirit-like, and in your own individual mindset you fill this informational space with your thoughts, the more this informational reality that will unfold around you will correspond to these thoughts of yours and not to someone else's. That is why this space is now open to everyone, and if you have the opportunity to think out loud, think out loud. Everything is being taken into account now. Думать вслух. Думайте вслух. Учитывается сейчас все.